The simulation description format, or SDF, is used to create mechanism models in Gazebo. And the model for this video is a simple 1R manipulator, so there are two links and one Revolut joint connecting them. And you can see it here, I'll launch it with this line at the command line, and the dash U is an option so that the simulation doesn't start right away. I can hit, it's paused, or it hasn't started yet when I launch it, so I need to hit play for it to start. Okay, so now the simulation is running. Here is our model, and we just made it with two blocks and a Revolut joint connecting them. The SDF file for this model is in the module, and here it is, briefly. There are two links, so here is one of the links and it's just a box and then the second link is shown here and it's also a box and you can see the difference in the two link descriptions one of them I just have collision and visual and then the joint that fixes it to the world and then for the second link I have collision visual and also inertial so inertial is one of the other elements or parameters in the SDF format. So here is the SDF specification and we're on the link element. So you can see all of these different parameters, name, gravity, velocity, frame, pose, where the link is located, and then here's inertial. So under inertial you have mass, and then inertia, the elements of the rotational inertia matrix, I, X, X, I, Y, Y, I, Z, Z, etc. And by default, these are all one. So the default mass is one. Well, this is, and then the default rotational inertia matrix is a diagonal matrix, or it's the identity matrix. So it's a three by three identity matrix. But I'm going to change these values in a minute, so I included that information in this link description. And then here is the Revolut joint connecting those two links. Now back to the simulation. It's not doing anything. We can add a torque through the GUI. Just click on the model and find the joint that we're interested in, and let's add 0.75 Newton meters and it's immediately applied. So you can see the angular acceleration that results and we have here a constant angular acceleration because we have a constant torque and so the speed of that second link is just going to keep increasing without bound. So it's getting faster and faster and faster. Now let me change the SDF file for this model and we'll look at the effects that a couple of changes make. So let me close that simulation, go back to the SDF file, and I'm going to change the inertia on that model, on that link really. So instead of 1, now it's 10. Save that and run the simulation again. And apply the same torque and hopefully you'll be able to see that the acceleration now is one-tenth of what it was before. So it, it's accelerating more slowly than before but one thing that's the same as before is if we left it long enough it would keep accelerating without bound so the velocity would just keep increasing and increasing albeit at a more slow uh, slower pace than before. So let me go back to the SDF file. We'll revisit that in a second just to see where it is, it being the velocity. And now add some damping to our model. We'll try a value of 0.1. Save that. Okay. So it still hasn't reached a very high 
angular velocity relative to the previous simulation, but it's been increasing since we left that simulation because there's no damping. Now run a new sim with that updated model and the moment of inertia is back to one but we've added some damping and so we'll see the effect of that. We're going to add three quarters of a newton meter and start the simulation and so we can see it takes off it starts accelerating at the same rate as the first simulation but one difference is that now the velocity is going to have a, a threshold because the faster this link is tr moving the faster it's rotating the higher the torque generated by that damping and so at some point, at some speed, the torque from the damping and this is going to equal three quarters of a newton meter. And so the, the second leak is no longer going to accelerate. So it looks like this is the maximum speed for that case. The SDF format, I'm sorry, the SDF specification has information like this for links for models, for joints, so the axis, the dynamics, here's the damping that we changed, and all of that information on the SDF model file is available in the specification.